Hey guys, in this video we're going over the specific energy curve and also going through what should be a revision of Newton's method of approximation. So starting off with the equation we derived in the previous video, we can graph the function for a specific value of q. So this is the relation between e and y. Here you'll need to get very familiar with this graph and how to use it and manipulate it in different scenarios. So I'll run through the basic features of it and what they mean in this video and progressively show you how to use it and uh, how to use it in different situations. So a curve has two asymptotes, the line y equals e and y equals zero. Now for any value of e, there exists two values of y, except for a special point on the end here. We call this the critical point. Uh, with the values of EC and YC. We call this the critical point because it's at this point that we have critical flow, where FR equals 1. Now, in order to find YC and EC, we need to find the minimum of E with respect to Y. So, as you would have always done before, we simply find DE on DY and solve equal to 0. So we've got our equation here in terms of y, and we're trying to find dE on dy, which equals 1 minus q squared on gy cubed, and we're solving equal to 0. And that's how we get our yc, which simplifies to q squared on g to the power of 1 on 3 and if we sub yc into the equation here we get e equal to 3 on 2yc. Um, so we have the formulas to find the critical point at yc ec. Now we can classify the rest of the points of the curve into the subcritical and supercritical, supercritical flows we saw through the Froude number classifications. So it turns out that the upper branch so here's our classifications here. Uh, we've just found critical flow. We need to find supercritical and subcritical flow. As it turns out, the upper branch of the curve here is subcritical and the lower branch is supercritical. So that's, I mean, that's slightly counterintuitive. So remember which one is which. Uh, for a given problem, we are usually told the classification of the flow as sub or supercritical. Most of the time it's subcritical. Um, and from this we can solve the cubic to give us the required, required depth of flow y or its con corresponding specific energy. Now remember we defined the specific energy curve for a specific value of q. 